Hey guys, Tony Rowe here, mixing it up, doing something crazy on a Saturday night because I'm really bored. Uh, I'm going to play some Blitz, and obviously you can also see my face, which is weird. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm also going to play no openings that, that have ever appeared on my channel before, so nothing, uh, no English, no, you know, crap like that. All manly stuff. No, none of this, none of this sissy crap I usually play. How much do I care that he gets bishop c5 in? Dude, I really want to play that. I don't think I care very much. <laughs> Let me take... I am very happy that he took. Bishop c5, rook e8, obviously. Aha. Uh -huh. That way. Okay. I will take that move for free. And... Bishop f5, bishop e6, or bishop b7. They all look so delicious. None of the above. <clears throat> Bishop E six. I basically don't want white to free himself with d4 is, is kind of where my head's at right now. So I'm trying to find a, a, a move that's good against e4. f5, d4, e4 is obviously good for me. f5, bishop g5 is probably nothing, but yeah, I can just go queen, queen d6, can't I? So th this is fine. If he goes bishop b3, I could go knight a5 right away and just harass the bishop away from that diagonal. I could also consider just going h6 so that I can go bishop e6 and, and not, not have to worry about this stuff. Warm hedgehogs, sweet handle. Shout out to this guy. If I could award like plus 200 elo, I, I for sure would. I have a small glass of Ardbeg scotch. I haven't uh, had any of it. I don't want to hear hear like, you know, pops up on Reddit. Eh, Tony Rose playing and recording drunk. I'm sober, hundred percent. Okay, I'm just gonna play H6. That way, I can go Bishop E6 again without allowing this nonsense. Nice piece. <laughs> I, 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 I'm i going to like behave like I usually behave when I'm playing Blitz with friends, which is rudely, <laughs> mostly. By the way, shout out to vests. I don't know if you guys are into vests. I'm real into vests. Uh, most of you guys know that I'm a type 1 diabetic if you listen to like, you know, my my nonsense drivel that I talk about while I'm while I should be talking about chess content. And like when you're a diabetic, you have like glucose tablets. Now I have like dog treats. You got a meter, uh, blood glucose meter, uh, all kinds of crap, and and between keys, cell phone, wallet, uh, I'm like a nerd, so I always have a pen. It's just like I need more pockets, and fanny packs are not in style, and I kind of lament the fact that fanny packs are not in style to pretty much everyone I know. And the the vest is kind of like a cool fanny pack. It's like a stylish fanny pack, I think. It's like if, like, a fanny pack and a jacket got together and they had a kid. And that kid did not have any arms. It got dark. Okay, so he wants to go knight B to D2. <laughs> I'm really sorry for that. That was really weird. Um, I'm just going to go bishop E6. I think, like, a, a regrouping, like... Rook to e8, bishop f7. Put my queen on one of these squares. Rook a to d8. 
At some point, you should go A4, probably, and, and start trying to be annoying. It's possible that I should have gone maybe Queen D7 or Queen D6 here. That way, on A4, I could play something like Rook A to D8, and after A takes B5, A takes B5, you can't get rid of this thing. That would have made more sense. Uh-huh. Really? Okay, I'm going to go queen d6, and on bishop e3, I think I'm going to play bishop f7. If knight c5, then knight e3 would win the knight on c5. He could go bishop c5, but I think after just queen d7, maybe his best move is just to go back to e3. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, c5 is weak. It's true, but I have a huge center, so sorry about it. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. I am. Yesterday I spent uh, some time with buddies. Went to a new brewery that opened up. Ooh, going for it. Okay, now if King H7 here, G5 is actually a threat, is it not? I mean, it sort of is. It would get pretty messy. Bishop f7 is a much more natural move. I think I'm just going to go with that. I like my position. I don't have any complaints. Something like queen f6, g3, g5, knight g2 would be quite good for me, I think. Then maybe just rook a to d8 or a5, a4. Might not be the best move. It is interesting, though. A5 actually threatens A4, kicking the knight, then A3. When B takes A3, knight takes C3 would be a total debacle. Boy, what the hell are you doing down there? <laughs> I never know what he's doing. Uh, B4 is also kind of interesting. B4, C4. Knight E7 is forced because knight B6, C5 would fork my stuff. And then d4 is a little bit loose. Yeah. It might be be smart for him to play a4. I was thinking about just going b takes a4, rook takes a4, then maybe knight b6. Seems fine. I am very happy with a3. Oh, right. Not rook, rook a to d8, knight to b7. That would be quite foolish. I'm looking forward to seeing how I blow this. Or do you want to come see everyone? Lord, come here. Come here. Hop up. Not a very good lap dog. Come here. Come on. All the way. Yes, that's a good boy. Say hi to the camera. Yes. Thank you. That's so nice. That is so nice. Okay, that is mean. 
What say you? What say you? Okay, I'm gonna flag. <laughs> You're a gentle 60 pounds. And I'm a total pansy. Maybe queen d8 is better. G5 is a threat. I will take that piece. So now you guys, now you guys met Mort. He's real. All the dog that I play all of my blunders on. Knight G2. Yeah, I gotta get rid of this idiot. How do I do that? Hmm. Need some kind of a slick regrouping. I will flag this guy. My position seems really good. I just don't. Maybe I'm overestimating it. Maybe this thing is just much better than I thought. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a move. I'm just gonna put this thing here for the time being. He can go b3 if he wants. That seems terrible. Well, maybe it's not terrible. So close. Subtle. Subtle ideas. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's go G5 anyway and just kick this dude out. Oh no, 93. I have to take it. That's annoying. Stupid. I'm pretty happy that he took that way. Now I have the plan of just going f4. I also thought that this idea was moderately interesting. b4 takes is not good anymore. Mental note. b3, I mean. Yeah, that moves kind of good. Or is this good now? Well, I don't have any time. I'm just going to play it. It seems quite good. Boop, boop. Well, that was the wrong way because my bishop was pinned. I can't actually take that. <laughs> okay, he's, he's, losing a, he's losing the chess set now. Times are bad. Times are bad. It's got the check. Should be able to to handle this. March onward. Subtle, subtle. I think I'm gonna get one, yeah. <laughs> All right, that game was a shame. Let's hope, let's hope that doesn't happen again. Five, the, the wafer in the 5-3 pool is not kind to me tonight. It's not uh, a popular Lee Chess time period relatively late EDT for those of you time zone sticklers it's not EST or is it did we I don't know I'm not a time zone stickler I have no idea yeah so me and my friends went to this bar yesterday and that's a brewery technically it just opened up it's called terrestrial brewery it's in like Battery Park if you know Cleveland you might know where that is um by the lake and uh yeah, I had a Raz El Hanout stout. It was pretty good. I had like a really awkward 
uh, interaction with this guy who was hitting on me for his his female friend. And it just showed, like, this story is just so funny because it just shows what an abject failure with women I am. I'm just, like, very lucky that I'm engaged and off the market because if I had to survive in today's, uh, like, dating climate, I would just die, die a single man, I think. I'm just so pathetic. Like, while we're waiting in the 5 plus 3 pool, I'll, I'll regale you with stories from my personal life. <clears throat> so, so I noticed that these three people, two men and a woman, are just staring at me for like two hours straight. And it was making me really uncomfortable. And actually, the only thing I could think was that one of them was a chess player. <laughs> and that they were like thinking, I bet that might be the YouTube guy. Which is so stupid because, you know, I have I have like... 1500 subscribers maybe and i don't think i've ever heard anyone go hey i'm also from cleveland so that wasn't it but i couldn't figure out anything else so anywho so the guy walks up to the bar and he goes he, he goes hey what do you think about that girl right behind you in the blah 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 sweater and i i turn around and i look at her and i can't tell because she's got her back turned and she's like on her cell phone or whatever and so i i have literally no idea and i tell him so and i thought he was asking my opinion on her for him like hey should i should i go out with this girl or whatever more devious perhaps is is more likely at midnight at a bar on friday night but uh, you know and i was like i don't know i can't see her and he's like well just walk over and say you know thanks for the beer and i looked at him totally perplexed and i was like why would i why would i say that like why would i just not tell you Thanks for the beer right now. And what beer are we talking about? I don't know what you're saying. But what he meant was she wanted to buy me a beer and that I should walk over there and talk to her and start up the conversation with thanks for the beer. But I thought there was no beer and he just wanted me to walk back over there and tell him thanks for the beer. And I didn't understand why I was doing that. Understandably, because it makes no damn sense. And he's like, he responded with, well, you would say that because it's a great way to, to start up a conversation. I'm like, what? The? And then I was like, oh, she wants to talk to me. And then I was like, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm happily engaged, you know, best of luck. But I'm just such an, I'm just an idiot. Like I have no, no game whatsoever. Don't, don't understand anything about the, the dynamics of men and women. That will always be the case. <laughs> but the weirdest thing was is that I was wearing like a hat, and I don't I don't know if you guys saw the uh, the old thumbnail image of me on my my channel. That's what kind of hat it was, and it was like a it's like I don't even know what you'd call it. It's kind of like a like a they call it like a messenger cap or like a cabbie hat or I don't know. It's got like a small brim and it's like a like some old men wear it a lot. You know, they're just like smoking a cigar on their porch, and they have like a anywho. I was wearing this hat. And he said that she said that that hat showed a lot of confidence, which makes me think that hat is like ugly as sin. <laughs> and just having the stones to wear it out in a public place shows a lot of confidence. The th the, that totally blew my mind for the rest of the night. I was just analyzing this to myself the whole night. Anywho, so that was that. That was my Friday. I hope you guys had a better Friday than that. I'm going to pause this because the 5-3 is like, where are the people in the 5-3 pool? I'll be right back. It's a miracle. We're back. Uh, continuing with the theme. 1634. Continuing with the theme of not playing anything I, I ever play. 1-E-4, for instance. Uh, okay, I'm going to do something weird. <laughs> I'm gonna go hog wild on this dude. B5. No, he's just gonna. <laughs> this is not because this guy's 1600. I really hate when when like higher rated players do all kinds of dumb stuff when when they're playing lower lower rated players just because they think they can. That's not really my my style. I would do stupid stuff versus anyone. 
If e5, which is he's pretty obviously preparing, I think I'm going to take once and then play f5. I don't know if that's good, but this is sort of a legit idea, is it not? If I want to be really rude, I can start with knight g3, so on g5 he doesn't have knight h5. That probably makes a modicum of sense. Rook d8 takes. Which way to take? I kind of like the look of this way. That way on g5 I have knight to e4. I get this juicy square. Dude, I'm going to get this guy. <laughs> I want to smack this guy upside the head. Figuratively, of course. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Let's go knight g3. I, I, I guess his idea is he wants to go rook to g8 or something. I don't. King h8 is of unknown idea to me. <clears throat> g5. Let's do this. King h8 has the unfortunate side effect of also trapping his bishop after. <laughs> after. Uh, do I want to win something? I don't even think I want to take anything. I just want to play f6. I could take here first, but I don't really care. Ah. You dirty rat. Okay. I mean, I'm still, I'm still winning, but I didn't even think about that. Night retreats, man. Mm. Let's swing the lady in. Very subtle. Bishop e4 threat. Rook g8. Bishop e4. Rook g3. King h2. Oh, rook g7. Wah. I'll probably just play king h2 if he goes rook g8. On that move, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna checkmate him. No can defense. In the words of the great uh, Mr. Miyagi. That's curtains, ladies and gents. See? What was that? 4h3 against the Peerts. Basically a refutation. This line is actually legit as far as I know. It has some sweet name too. I can't remember what it is. Right on time, Tebow, with the site update. You guys can barely see that up at the top left. Come on now. for recording right now. Brought this upon myself. I shouldn't turn very far because you can tell how huge my schnoz is that way. If I, if I leave it like this, it's like sort of a mystery. If I go like too far over, it's like, whoa. Probably should have shaved. It's fine. That's how you know there was something weird going on with this this girl hitting on me. No offense to this girl. There's like a zero 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 one percent chance that she's listening, but you were probably trying to steal my kidneys or something and harvest. There was no way. I mean, I'm unshaven. I have a dumbass hat on. There, yeah. This is a really long update. Normally it's like, there we go. Yeah. I <laughs> wait three and a half minutes for this guy to realize he can't stop me.
There's no move. No can defense. Just go out in style with bishop takes f1. Grab everything you can. Play bishop d3 and hope that I mouse slip so you can play bishop e4. <laughs> Very smoky. Got kind of a like a a little bit of a like a citrusy, like a grapey, like a like a raisin. It's good. It's got a sweet name. I mean, okay, thank God. Maybe he got kicked off during the uh, the site update. Okay, I'm going to hop back into the 5-3 pool and, and pause it again so you don't have to listen to me ramble again for another five minutes, most likely. Let's battle uh, G6. Can I do this? We're going to find out. H4. Do it. Let's get weird. This is Saturday Night Silliest. Oh, okay. We're just going to get a normal Leningrad. I guess I've technically probably played the Leningrad on my channel before. Have I? Maybe. For that, I apologize. I did that without thinking. But I haven't played it in quite a long time, so this is weird enough. Really? I have seen this idea before. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do against it, though. I'm just going to play typical Leningrad moves and hope, hope that it works out. Knight a3 doesn't feel like the correct move. Where's that thing going? <clears throat> I don't know how to play the Leningrad from either side. That's what I've come to learn. I find all of the main line positions extremely confusing. I know black wants to play e5. That's, you know, pretty much it. That's all I got, really. With the pawn on c3, all bets are off. I have no idea what to do once the pawn's on c3, but... Probably I'm just going to go queen c7 on the next move, I'm guessing. in a really long time. Morty's passed out on the floor now. Hopping up and on this chair was exhausting. <laughs> Been catching up on TV this weekend. Brook Brooklyn Nine Nine, one of the best television shows ever. So funny. Also, New Girl. If you guys aren't watching New Girl and you're like, "Oh, New Girl, really?" with that uh, Zoe Deschanel thing. If you like kind of like silly humor, that show is uh, honestly one of my favorite shows I've ever watched in my life. I find that show absolutely to be one of the funniest things in the world. And if you hate that show and now you hate me for it, I apologize, but I I stick up for it. Speaking of shows that I think are pretty much the best, Psych. So Psych was on for, I think, eight seasons, I want to say, seven or eight seasons on, on the USA Network, and it was it, it's still my favorite show ever made. Best show ever. Super funny, very clever, witty. I like the writing. Uh, the premise is just cool. Um, 
And that show and like Monk sort of sparked all of these like uh, this genre of ultra quirky detectives with like really great memories and all kinds of weird stuff like that. And uh, maybe E six. And I just heard that there were there have been rumors kind of spiraling spiraling around the Twitterverse. Uh, yeah, I follow psych stuff on Twitter. Uh, for a while about a, a psych movie. And finally it was like confirmed, I think, on Friday that there's going to be a psych movie, so I'm super excited about that. You, one might say that I'm really psyched about it. I'll just... I'll shut this off and, and go home now. <laughs> that was terrible. What's happening here? I mean, this is like... You know, I'm I'm all for terrible time management, but this has taken it to a whole new level, man. This night G5 thing didn't really accomplish much of anything. Really just giving me a bunch of moves for free. Let's go Queen E7. Getting ready for dropping the hammer. E5, E4. Basically, in the Leningrad, if you get an e5 and e4, you're you're pretty much always equal or better as black. At least that's that's the way it feels to me in almost every position I've analyzed. Yeah, I mean, he, he's gonna get an e4, but I think I'm probably just gonna go f4. Take take. I could also leave it, but I think I'm gonna go f4. Just try and smack him upside the face. I'll just do this. If he wants to go G4, he can go G4. <clears throat> this would be tasty. Knight b3 doesn't really stop it, because I believe I have rook d8. Then knight d3. I guess you can go queen e2, rook d1. Just develop. And try taking there. I don't think it really works. Is this just winning a bunch of stuff? Feels close. He has B4. That's the, the problem.
let's just play a build-up move. Taking here, I think I'll probably just go knight h5 and sack the pawn. If he wants to do that, I'll happily play that position. Maybe I shouldn't, though, because he gets knight d4 in. Really wants to stop that. It's bizarre. It's a weird game, man. Weird. Okay, maybe one or two more. And I gotta go play with this dog. He's laying on the floor all, all depressed like. Okay, I'm gonna pause again. BRB. And we're back. I switched to the 3 2 pool. Coming for you, Nimzo Larson style. Let's do this. And wow, Nimzo Larson style. Look at that. And I have Larson in the background. Oh crap. You see that? Check out that guy. Damn it. Check out that guy. Uh, this is already completely stupid. What am I doing? Okay, let's go d4. Maybe he'll play g6. This is a, this is again kind of a cop out because I started as a Nimzo Larson. If he goes g6, I will go knight f3 and g3. Interesting. Yeah, this is totally weird now. I have never seen this before. Castles, castles. C5, I'll go C4. I like white. That knight on B, B7, or D7, really wishes it was on C6 right now, in my opinion. These positions are usually quite nice. Black's gonna have to take on d4 at some point. That move deserves to lose somehow. Ugh. Do I really have no discovery? Okay, I can at least just play queen d2. And then go d5, I think. Maybe I should have played a4. So on e takes, c takes, he can't go b5. It's a reasonable thought. The problem with putting your bishop on b7 is just after d5, it's just a very bad piece. Yeah, that's uh, pretty logical, isn't it? Looking to go knight f5, but also protecting the d5 pawn in the event of this stuff. I mean, I could very easily whip up some kind of a nasty kingside initiative here. Like knight f5 is coming, hitting g7, queen g5, hitting g7. This guy is kind of slumbering. Sorry, if I keep my camera, I should probably take my hands off my face. Mm. Oh, got a text message. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> I'm one of those guys that gets phantom vibrations, like, all the time in my pocket. Okay, let's just chuck this thing in here for the time being. Let's just do this. This actually carries zero threat, I think. Uh, maybe I'm threatening knight b5. That's kind of a slick tactic, right? a, b, then here. I like it. I like what's happening here. 
this knight wasn't on b6, b4 would also be real slick. Because if c4, black forfeits the d4 square forever. And if he allows me to take and he takes back here, then it mobilizes my e-pawn. I could do this, it's just not nearly as clear as I would like it to be after this move. Where'd my time go? Yeah, I mean, th this move is clearly not the best move, but uh, I'm working with what I got here. Oh, my queen's trapped after g5. <laughs> Feels terrible. <laughs> oh, that is embarrassing. I guess I had to go queen f4. Yeah, he, he can't even believe it. Wow, so lucky. I don't even have time to think about whether or not any of these moves are good. Knight d3. Crushing the soul. Rude. Rude. <laughs> oh, man. What a terrible game. Oh. People. People. Gonna just... Don't look at me. I'm hideous. <laughs> it is horrendous. Where's my scotch? Feels terrible. I had a great position that game, too. Man, all right. The advance. Is this it? Bishop G5. E6. Gonna get you. Coming in hot. <sighs> I 
So is e6, queen b2, e6, f takes e6. I think this is a move. I think this might be playable. If he takes here, I mean, I, I get I get to take here check, king takes d7, and then I was thinking knight e2, queen takes a1, queen b3, when his queen is trapped. Yeah. And here I was thinking about just doing the same. I guess I could check, though. And just play something like knight d2. I kind of feel like I don't care if he castles long, honestly. Probably my, my knight should have been on f3, but that's all right. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna get in there because queen b2 I can just go knight to, knight to c3. Well, after I castle that is. Yeah, and this. I mean the the compensation for my stuff is is long term, but I, I have all my pieces out and black has li literal zero way to activate <laughs> eleven points of material. And oh, by the way, his, his queen is on a really crap square, and I'm threatening to take on b7. So, I mean, I also have this weaselly plan. The, the, these tip types of positions with e6 are usually extremely dangerous for black. You know, for never playing the Karokan, this is a pretty good position on move 12. I should do this more often. So I, do I take rook b1, or do I just leave it? I'll, I'll play rook b1. I think if he goes, I mean, he has to go queen a3. I think I'll go rook b3 also. Point being that now my knight is, is protected, and I can go knight to f4. Uh-huh, he does have that. But doesn't that get his queen trapped? You can only avoid the queen trap by losing copious amounts of material. Rook h6, I can go queen f7 and disregard the exchange. I guess I'll just take the stuff. All right, all right. I was thinking about knight d4 for a while, but oh my god, 40 seconds. Oh my god, all right. What am I doing? Story of my life. Yet. Oh, is it trapped again? No, he has queen g4. <laughs> I was so excited for a second. Yeah, I really don't want to trade queens, though. Okay, this... This check and followed by takes here has to be pretty good. Look at this Tony Rowe mating attack right now. This is some tall stuff. Look at all my pieces. They're so active. Look at all this stuff. It's terrible. I'm going to get you. Coming for you. King c7. No. I don't want to win all your stuff. I want to checkmate you. <clears throat> Take. 
taken it. Can I just continue the savagery with this move? Is that being super greedy? Probably, but I, I want to go rook g3 check. I mean, you know, he doesn't have any pieces developed. You're going to save this rook? You're crazy. Crazy. Check, sir. Subtle mating threats. Queen h6. Only move. Knight f5. Good game. This position is awesome. Why don't I play chess like this all the time? This is way more fun than not checkmating people. Jeez. Get. Rules. Rules. GG. Okay, one more. Ah, uh, should I end on that? Yeah, I probably should. All right. <laughs> all right.